Being on the road to recovery can be a long and arduous process, and one program does not fit all. That's why Intermountain Hospital takes pride in their outpatient services, allowing people to start the recovery process from the comfort of their home surrounded by a support system. So we spoke to Ryan Armbruster from Intermountain Hospital to learn more. So grateful for all the work you do. What oh, makes thank you. outpatient services at Intermountain Hospital so unique? Um, I think a number of things. Obviously, if there's anybody or any company trying to do an outpatient program, their intent is in the right place. Um, I think what separates our program is, I think um, the feedback we've gotten from patients is that a lot of times, 80% of the time is spent on what happened and 20% is going forward. And we try and switch that where it's 20% uh, what happened, we're obviously gonna process trauma, um, we're gonna you know, see maybe why you got to that addiction, but really we try and hammer home the 80% going forward, what you're capable of, what we can do about it. Yeah. Which I think for probably so many is, is it's a more of a positive outlook because we, we don't know the future yet. So, so being able to almost write your story instead of just focusing on those past chapters, I'm sure is huge. Exactly. And uh, yeah, I, I say that a lot in the groups we run in terms of um, the book's not finished yet yeah. and, and we don't need to marinate in the past. We obviously have to honor it, but um, yeah, I think it gives people some hope and, and lights a fire under them. Absolutely. How does each treatment uh, day go? What can people expect? Um, so we have, I think the best way to frame it is like an a la carte service. Okay. So um, we will have, for instance, today from 8.30 to 12.30, we'll have two co-occurring groups and we do 10 groups a day. So the first eight, they have the option and then the last two, there's only one group. But basically, um, let's say I'm doing a group on relapse prevention. Um, one of my coworkers might do a group on anxiety or um, yeah, defensiveness, mm -hmm. and so we have a lot of ambiguity and the, and the patients really appreciate that. They get to choose kind of their route. And so, um, yeah, if they are in the IOP program, they'll be there for three groups. Okay. If they're in the PHP program, they'll be there for six. Um, and yeah, that's basically what a day looks like. Which is probably nice because so many people have so many different unique, you know, issues they're dealing with so it's not like oh this is the one blanket course for everybody right someone say well I'm dealing with this and the person sitting next to you is dealing with something totally different and you're trying to get that same treatment so this is nice because it, it can can be tailored for what you're dealing with yeah and it, it goes both ways I completely agree and then the, the nice part is too I always call our program society in a room so we have people that were lawyers at Harvard we have people trying to find a roof and everybody in between and so it really unites wow. people in, in the sense of, oh, you deal with codependency or you deal with low self-esteem. or Yeah, and, and then you see the, the, the commonality. Exactly. Guess, right? Okay, that's amazing. So uh, with, with you, this is obviously a passion for you, it sounds mm -hmm. like. What is your goal, Intermountain Hospital? What is, what is your goal? When you, when you think of, of someone and their future, what is the goal and dream that you have for them? Um, I think it's obviously circumstantial to each individual patient, but... I think my big thing is capability and what you're capable of. And obviously the first day, you know, we don't go, oh, you're capable of this. We, yeah. You know, we, we're gentle, but people are stronger than they give themselves credit for. Um, they have more power than they give themselves credit for. And it's a really beautiful thing to see them recognize that and just be there to assist. So. I imagine we could have you sit on this couch for hours and you could tell us about all the amazing stories of people and, and where they were to where they are now. And, and that's gotta be rewarding, I think, for you especially. Yeah, absolutely. I don't, I don't see myself ever doing anything different. Um, yeah, it's, it's a pretty special thing and, and it feels good, but Really the power of our program, again, we have, we'll have a group of 15, 20 people. They learn more from their peers than the facilitator. Then, yeah. And so it's nice to just be along for the ride. Oh, wonderful. Where can people go for more information? They're watching this, they feel inspired, and they want to go for more information. Um, they could call 24 seven. Um, yeah, we're open 365. Okay. And then, um, yeah, if you go to our website, intermountainhospital.com, then they can call for an outpatient scheduling. Wonderful. Thank you so much for the time. Thanks, we really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Absolutely. Yep. We'll have more Idaho today coming up after the break. And actually, that's it for today here on Idaho Today. Be sure to follow us on social, Facebook and Instagram, Idaho Today. Instagram, it is Idaho Today and the number seven. That's how you can find out about all of our giveaways. 
And we look so forward to seeing you every weekday at 1234 Idaho Today right here on KTDB, Idaho's News Channel 7. Have a fantastic rest of your day, everyone. Bye-bye.